changed from the very first game when these two teams played. Scotland on that occasion lined up 2-2-6, two, two, and that was in 1872. This afternoon it's the more familiar 4-3-3. In goal, Ron Simpson, aged 36, playing his very first game for Scotland. At number two... Goddard talks about the power of the commentary and one of the, 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 the questions about where the power of the commentary lies. I, I, I wonder whether there's a kind of spectrum of power, if you like, um, between the person making the commentary um, and the person actually listening to the commentary. For, for me, with the, 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 the sports commentaries on the radio without an image to look at, the role of the sports commentator is incredibly important. Um, I, uh, they have to convey images um, to the listener. Um, and I use the term images um, because obviously there's nothing to look at, but we're talking about what's, what's happening inside people's heads. Um, it's very important that an image is created by the person making the commentary, but it's also very important that that image is decoded by the person listening to the commentary. I think the power of commentary lies in the ability to fix meaning so that um, power, if one, if one thinks that power in the world lies in terms of what one's able to say, who's able to, who's able to speak and then what one's actually able to say, then the power of commentary lies in, first of all, the ability to have a platform to speak and, start, and secondly then in the ability in, through speaking to actually fix meaning. I think that's really where I would suggest the power of commentary actually lies. Myślę, że Godard miał rację, mówiąc, że komentarz może uciszać. Myślę, że Godard miał rację, mówiąc, że komentarz może uciszać. Myślę, że Godard miał rację, mówiąc, że komentarz może uciszać. Myślę, że Godard miał rację, mówiąc, że komentarz może uciszać. Myślę, że Godard miał rację, mówiąc, że komentarz może uciszać. Myślę, że Godard miał rację, mówiąc, że komentarz może uciszać. Myślę, że Godard miał rację, mówiąc, że komentarz może uciszać. Myślę, że Godard miał rację, mówiąc, że komentarz może uciszać. Myślę, że Godard miał rację, mówiąc, że komentarz może uciszać. Myślę, że Godard miał rację, mówiąc, że komentarz może uciszać. Um, Godard talks about the star personality, and if there's anyone who's a star personality, then it's Godard. Um, so you can think about, I mean, I'm going to come up with a few examples as I, as I, as I ramble on. Um, so you, I suppose you want to think about the star personality of the director whose audio commentary becomes a substitute for actually reading the film, having it effectively allows you to have the film read for you. I mean, it's one of the most annoying things about my film students is that uh, they watch the film with the audio commentary of the director on and they take that as gospel, obviously, unsurprisingly. I mean, who, wants, who, who better to tell you what the film means than the director, obviously, who knows everything? I'd love to have Vim Vendor's commentary, audio commentary on his film Room 666, uh, for then you'd have a director talking over the voice of other directors. I mean, he's sort of there anyway doing that, but it would be quite nice to have that. Um, I think, again, through those same mechanisms, um, that our experience of the world, which is primarily a mediated experience of the world, uh, is then mediated through the commentary which we get. It's we have commentary on commentary in a way. When you say commentary, you don't mean voiceover. No, we mean commentary in the sense of um, Reportage, yeah, and also documentary, just, you know, as political tools, right? Where you're yeah. using it as a Actually, it's everything. It could be sport commentary as well. But, but it's yeah. fiction too, then. Yeah. Fiction yeah. too, of course. It's like establishing a, a, a point of view. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. But film. So what he's saying is, film is political. Okay. Film is the is the most is the superpower. The, the tool of, of commentary, being able to put your point of view on right. a an official piece with limiting right. the, the meanings of that to what actually you want to say. For right. example, the audience by consuming a film, who serves films, of course, well, I guess everyone, uh, everything, would have already a set meaning by the director. For example, that's the power that you have to yeah. the film, setting up your point of view, kind of limiting the, the multiple meanings that just the image would have, for example. Yes, yes. Who is telling you this? Because it's always partial. There's no such thing as impartiality. It's always partial. It's a question of how partial is it? Um, and one 
the consumer, we must be aware of what we are consuming at all times. I like to think that I am being incredibly manipulative in my films. I make them that way. I, I want you to be manipulated. I want you to give me your emotions and I'm going to play with your emotions and I'm going to play with your expectations and I'm going to play with your preconceived ideas of what an Asian person is perhaps or what a woman is or whatever the subject is and I'm going to subvert your ideas and pull the carpet from you uh, so that you end up having a different perspective perhaps uh, from when you come out of the film from when you went in. Faster than a speeding plane. Defeating evil at every turn. Mightier than a thousand men. Tall buildings with a single bound. It's the amazing commentary man. Maybe he can't, but I know a man who can. Where was he when this happened? Are these two images incommensurable? Or are they possibilities? Do we search for meaning where there is none? For instance, I could easily be in colour Suppose what I mean is, you can't trust me. But would you trust me if I had a watermark? Or a scroll bar? Have my imitations of form in my commentary led to the sectioning off of a looping piece of time and space which is destined to lose whatever value it had as comments become more insular about it? Or, alternatively, have I just been trying to trick you with a cigarette? Um, I, on the one hand, uh, I agree with Godard. I, I think uh, definitely there is a huge uh, uh, proliferation of comments, commentaries in society uh, that uh, dominates uh, most of the uh, times of uh, people's opinion and uh, even uh, to the degree that it, it intimidates uh, uh, people. But on the other hand, I disagree with him that it's completely dominating, uh, commentary is completely dominating people's lives. Uh, as, uh, as far as I understand, there is also a place for people themselves to uh, use the commentary, this format,